to my channel. My name's Claire and this is my cake chemistry series where I am talking about all of the geeky stuff behind baking. Today I'm talking further on the topic of eggs which I've touched on before but we are going to be specifically covering egg whites and the science behind making the perfect meringue. We can make meringue by whisking egg whites with sugar. This can then be piped out and baked as it is, or we can use it to make cake layers, souffles, mousses, sponges, macarons, and various other products. It is the proteins within egg whites that give it the ability to form a stable foam, the main one being ovalbumin. The proteins, when whisked, begin to unfold and so are able to move freely throughout the liquid. As we whisk the egg whites, we also incorporate air bubbles and the proteins move to surround the surface of these air bubbles. Once there, the unfolded proteins aggregate or bond with each other, forming a network that is strong yet flexible. This strengthens the air bubbles, preventing them from collapsing and so we form a stable foam. We can stable a meringue further by bearing in mind the following seven factors. Number one, adding sugar. This prevents over whisking and it slows down the unfolding and aggregation of proteins. It also dissolves into the white once added, forming a thick syrup, which helps protect the air bubbles from collapsing. This is why it's important to add the sugar gradually so that there is time for the crystals to dissolve. Otherwise, it can end up weighing down the foam or even prevent it from whisking up at all. Number two, fats. Ever wondered why even the tiniest amount of egg yolk can prevent the white from whisking? That's because of the fats and emulsifiers it contains, in particular lecithin. These fats coat the proteins and prevent them from unfolding and bonding. Not only this, they also compete with them and surround the air bubbles, but cannot form a strong and stable network in the way that proteins can, so the air bubbles quickly expand only to then collapse. Number three, adding acid. Cream of tartar is an acid that's commonly added to meringues during the early stages of whisking, but we can also use vinegar or lemon juice. These lower the pH of the egg white, which stabilizes the meringue. The optimum pH is between 4.6 and 4.8. Number four, temperature. Egg whites whisked at a higher temperature, ideally room temp, which is around 21 degrees, will give a higher volume of foam. So make sure that you're not using your eggs straight from the fridge. Number five, thickness of the whites. Older eggs have a thinner egg white which will whisk up to a higher volume. However, fresher eggs with a thicker white will produce a more stable foam. So it really depends on what is more important in what you're making, volume or stability. Number six, whisking time. If we whisk egg whites for too long, the protective film that surrounds each air bubble stretches and thins out. Eventually the foam collapses and it kind of looks like it's curdled. This is because the proteins separate out and float about in the remaining liquid. Underwhisked egg whites will also not produce a stable foam because we haven't allowed enough time to incorporate air bubbles and for the proteins to unfold and aggregate, forming that strong network. So it's all about finding that perfect sweet spot, which comes with practice. And finally, number seven, equipment. The type of materials we use when whisking up our egg whites will affect the stability of the foam. For example, a copper bowl will release tiny particles of copper which improve the flexibility of the protein network. They will also give the meringue a slightly golden colour. Using a large balloon whisk, we will incorporate more and bigger air bubbles into the foam. There isn't really the perfect equipment to use. Again, it just depends on what it is you're making and the final results you'd like. So there we have it. That's my little explanation on the science behind whisking egg whites and how you can make the perfect meringue. If you like this video, please do remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button so that you don't miss any of the latest updates from me. 
and if you've got any questions, topics you want me to cover in the future, please do pop them in the comments below or come and say hello to me over on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.